Now it's time to start assembly. Lots of gluing and waiting. Once again, not exactly following the directions with the kit. We started with the wall supports at the back of the building. Then we glued the inside wall to the outside front wall as the window door and facade support. The instructor warned not to glue the porch supports in just yet. He said the porch roof should be put in first as the supports may not reach the roof. adding the sidewalls. This proved to be a bit more difficult and would have been impossible without the one, two, three blocks due to the amount of warping I could not seem to prevent. Rubber bands were so helpful here as the walls kept wanting to separate from each other while the glue was drying. We moved to the shed walls. Due to the door stop, I needed to add a piece of wood to the one, two, three block on the outside to make sure it stayed flush against the shed wall. Time to test my skills. While the glue is drying, I turn to the roof pieces and some other details. Even though this was my first craftsman kit and I wanted to start by just building as it was presented, I got the bug like anyone else and I wanted to make it more my own. I decided to try making my own signs. My wife named the general store after a family name, so I created some custom signs. In an earlier episode, I show how I made one of the provided signs into a 3D sign. I decided to try an additional sign for the porch supports on my own. One of my favorite hobbies is making fun of my wife's home state. Based on the wolf's famous sign, place your guess in the comments as to which state I love to make fun of. There was plenty of scrap wood from the spruce, so I simply cut them out to fit the two signs and I glued the paper backs to them. Let's now take a look at the stuff I bungled. First, while the kit is almost bad alignment proof, I managed to mess it up. You can see that the back wall and shed wall come up a bit off the base. The shed wall has to come up because it has notches to match the back wall, which was misaligned slightly. Second, the signs suffered from two things. First, I did not measure the signs well, so they appear very undersized. Second, my printer was great eight years ago. I also did not have black ink, so the color was definitely lacking. And third, Bob the instructor was spot on. I checked my measurements multiple times and still there is a huge gap in the porch supports. I think I came up with a solution which we'll look at in my next video. Remember to like this video, click subscribe, and hit the bell so you're notified when the final video of this build premieres.